Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about Trichinellus paralis. If you haven't watched my Namat Hoods video, its link is in the description or in the top right corner. Watch that video first, then come and watch this one, then you will have an amazing understanding of this topic. But before starting the lecture, I like to tell that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comment section. Have a cup of tea and let's get started. Trichinella spiralis. It is also called as trichina worm, Greek for hair like. It is an intestinal nematode. It is the smallest nematode. It does not lay eggs. Instead, it releases larvae. That's why it is termed as baby Paris nematode. It is responsible for causing trichinosis or trichinellosis. And this disease is characterized by fever, GI symptoms, myalgia, and preorbital edema. We'll discuss all that in the clinical findings section. In this picture on the right side, you can see the trichinella spiralis. It, it, it looks like a spiral, doesn't it? Lecture outline. I've introduced you guys to the trichinella spiralis. Now we're going to talk about its morphology, habitat and transmission, life cycle, pathogenesis and epidemiology, clinical findings, lab diagnosis, treatment, and finally the prevention. Before starting the morphology, I'd like to tell you guys that there are certain developmental stages that exist in the life cycle of the trichinella spiralis. Except for egg, these two stages, the larva and the adult, they exist in the life cycle of trichinella spiralis. Why does egg uh, not exist or whether it exists? Let's talk about it. Morphology. Egg. As it is a viviparous nematode, it does not lay eggs. But eggs are present in the uterus of the adult female worm, the trichinella spiralis. Eggs hatch inside female worm, releasing the larvae. Alright, now you know whether the eggs exist or not. Next up is the larva. Eggs hatch inside female worm, releasing the larvae. Then the larvae are released. Larvae enter different organs of the host body. Which host? We'll talk about that in the habitat section. Larvae are in coiled shape in the muscle, in the striated muscle, always link that spirals to the striated muscles where um, they are found. Um, we'll talk about the location of this organism in the life cycle, but make sure that you remember the larvae will exist in the coils or the spiral shape in the body of the host. Larva is covered with a cyst, which is a protective wall that is around the larva. In our recent video uh, of Strongyloides turcaralis, we talked that infective stage is one form of larvae or uh, in some other videos we talked about that egg is this uh, infective stage of this infection. But for Trichinella spiralis, larvae in raw or undercooked meat is in its infective stage. And when it is present in the striated muscles of the human body, this is the actual location where the larvae is present. So, larvae in the striated muscles of the human body is in its diagnostic stage. Adult worm. Shape. It is slender more at anterior end than the posterior end. Size. Male is about 1.4 mm to 1.6 mm and female is twice as male because female is larger than the male. As in this picture, you can see the adult trichina worm. Look at its anterior side. This is more slender as compared to its posterior side. Habitat and stage host. Human beings are its end stage host. Why human beings are end stage host? Because uh, their meat will not be consumed by other animals. So humans are not responsible for transferring or transmitting the infection to the other animals or other human beings. That's why they are termed as end stage hosts. Um, but these organisms do have intermediate hosts like pigs and other carnivores. Transmission. Transmission occurs by eating raw or undercooked meat containing larvae. But less likely, transmission can also occur via fecal oral route. Life cycle. Life cycle has two stages. One is a human cycle and the other one is animal cycle. But I'll discuss life cycle under one heading 
life cycle i'll not split it as usually i do in my videos into human cycle and the animal cycle so let's start Humans are infected by eating raw or undercooked meat, pork in particular, but other infected animals as well, containing larvae and cysted in the muscle. The larvae exist and mature into adults within the mucosa of small intestine. Eggs hatch within the adult females and larvae are released and distributed via the bloodstream to many organs. However, they develop on the striated muscles, mainly skeletal, but can also target cardiac muscles. Within these nurse cells, they insist within a fibrous capsule and can remain viable for several years, but eventually calcify. The parasite is maintained in nature by cycles within reservoir hosts, primarily swine and rates. Humans are end stage hosts, as we have discussed in Habitat, because the infected flesh is not consumed by other animals, which means that this infection is not transmitted by humans to others. Diagrammatic representation of life cycle of Trichinella spiralis. As you can see in this picture, one big circle, this is the animal cycle, and one just straight line, this is the human cycle. So I'll discuss these cycles. Let's start. Um, we're going to start with this one. This is the meat that has ancestored larvae, and this is the striated muscle, and this ancestored larvae is in its infective stage. When it is ingested by either animals or by human, it is released in the small intestine. Then in both animals and humans, the larvae are converted into adults in the small intestine. In humans and in the animals, the larva is deposited in the mucosa, and then they enter the circulation, and then re they reach the striated muscles in animals. This is a diagnostic stage and in humans it reaches the nerve cells in those striated muscles but as you can see this arrow this is continuing the animal cycle but for the human cycle there is no continuing arrow because the human flesh is not further consumed pathogenesis signs of cardiac and central nervous system disease are frequent because the larvae migrate to these tissues as well death which is rare, is usually due to congestive heart failure or respiratory paralysis. Epidemiology Trichinosis occurs worldwide, especially in Eastern Europe and West Africa. In United States, it is related to eating home-prepared sausages, usually on farms where pigs are fed uncooked garbage. Pears and seal meat are also sources. In many countries, the disease occurs primarily in hunters who eat undercooked wild game, mean wild animals. Clinical findings. A few days after eating undercooked meat, usually pork, the patient experiences diarrhea, followed one to two weeks later by fever, muscle pain, periorbital edema, and eosinophilia. Eosinophilia is actually prominent in, in the diseases caused by the nematodes. One more thing, subconjunctival hemorrhages. These are an important diagnostic criterion. Um, there can be signs of cardiac and central nervous system disease and ultimately death can also occur. Complications, congestive heart failure, respiratory paralysis and death. Lab diagnosis, as I've told you guys that subconjunctival hemorrhages are really important for diagnosis. Um, we'll also go for muscle biopsy, which reveals encapsulated larvae within the striated muscles. Um, let's visualize this picture. As you can see, this is a striated muscle. These three arrows are pointing towards the larvae in that striated muscle. These larvae are present in the coiled forms, the spiral forms. Serologic tests. Detection of IgA against trichinella spiralis, especially the bentonate flocculation test, becomes positive three weeks after infection. Treatment. There is no effective treatment for trichinosis when the larvae have infected the muscle. But for patients with severe symptoms, steroids plus albendazole can be useful. Mebendazole is effective against the adult intestinal worms early in infection. Prevention. The disease can be prevented by properly cooking pork and by feeding pigs only cooked garbage. But there should be an advice that pork should be avoided.
Alright guys, let's review everything quickly. The organism is Trichinella spiralis, its common name is Trichina worm and the disease it is responsible for causing is trichinosis. Its mode of transmission is by ingestion of the larvae in undercooked meat, but less likely fecal oral route. Um, host, uh, the dead end host or the end stage hosts are the human beings and the intermediate hosts are pigs and other carnivores. Endemic areas are worldwide, primary location is intestine, but the main site that they go and live there is the striated muscle, mainly the skeletal, but they can also target the cardiac muscle. Diagnosis larvae ancestor in the muscle and serologic tests. Treatment albendazole plus prednisone against the larvae and mebendazole against the adult worm. Category, it is an intestinal nematode, it has no insect vector, stage that infects the human is the larvae in meat ingested. And stage in humans most associated with the disease is larvae and cyst in muscle causing myalgia. Important stage outside humans is larvae in muscle of pigs, bears, and other animals. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You've learned something. If you really did, give this video a big, big thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to connect with me on all of my socials. I've got my Instagram where I upload amazing infographics. For example, take this one where I have uploaded the resources for ops, tea tricks, and gynecology, which textbooks you can use, which online resources like YouTube channels, websites, uh, which apps. Uh, and which flashcards you guys can use and some techniques as well. I've got my Twitter and I rarely upload blogs, so do check them out. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum.